Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to CodePipe. Today we are going to see how we can generate QR code using a simple Python script. QR code is nothing but a two-dimensional photographic code that is used to store some data and it can have a large capacity. There are some black modules packed in a square shape on a white background. The information which is encoded in this QR code can be made up of any data. It can be binary, alphanumeric or it can be made up of kanji symbols. Without wasting any time, let's dive straight into our VS code. This is our Visual Studio code. I have already set up the pi file. I have already activated the virtual environment. I am assuming that we are aware of the virtual environment and how we can set up VS code. If not, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to give that information through a video. To start generating QR code using Python, first of all we need to install a library. So in our command prompt we can use pip install QR code and in the square brackets we can write PIL. We are using PIL in square brackets because we are also including the pillow library from Python so that we can manipulate the images that will be formed using QR code. So let's install it. Once the library is installed we are good to go. First of all we will import the library, import QR code. Now we are going to use this library or this class to define our QR. So let me paste a code here and I will explain it. In this version controls the size of QR code. Version 1 is the smallest which is 21 by 21 matrix and the largest is 40. Coming to error correction, the name itself defines that the error in the QR code will be corrected using this module and we are using the constant which is error correct L which is the smallest and it can correct up to 7% of the error. There are other constants also which is M, Q and H. Constant M can correct up to 15% of the error. Constant Q can correct up to 25% of the error and constant H can correct up to 30% of the error. Coming to box size, box size controls the pixels one QR code is made up of. So we are using 10 here and the border is how many boxes thick the border of our QR code should be and the minimum as per the specifications is only 4. So we are going with the default or the minimum. After this we will add some data into our QR code. So I will use qr.add underscore data and here I am going to add the website of CodePipe which is this. After this we will make the QR using qr.make and here we are going to use fit is equal to true. Using this fit is equal to true, whatever data we are providing, it will automatically be fitted into our QR code. Now we have made our QR, we will convert this into an image. So we will use image is equal to qr.make underscore image. I want fill color to be black and back color that is background color to be white. Here our image is made. Now let's save our image. So I will use image.save and I'll give it a name qrtest.png. We will save it and we will run it. As soon as the program ran, we can see here our qrtest.png is ready. So if we check this, we can see our QR is ready. Now I'm going to use my mobile to scan the QR code and the recording will be on the side of the screen. So if I scan this, we can see that we are getting the codepipe.com website and if we click on go to website, we are going to the website. So this is a simple way where we can use the QR code to display our website or any information we want. If you want to have a look at the documentation of QR code, we can always Google search QR code and it will give us this page pypy.org QR code. Here you can go through the documentation of QR code. We can see how the process is done and this is basically what we have done in our video. Feel free to go through this and I hope this can help you in a better way. So this is the basic Python script using which we can make simple QR codes that can hold simple information. If you want us to dig deeper into QR code, let us know in the comment section. If you think the video was informational, hit the like button. YouTube will know the video was good and it will recommend to other viewers. If you think we are doing a good work, 
subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somvir taking your leave adios